What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel, Mr. Silver 2000 here, and today we are going to cover the Origin 315P. Now, I have been waiting to do this ship for a little while because I was hoping the tractor beam type stuff would have already been kind of released. I was hoping it was going to come with 319, it didn't. It looks like it may come with 320, but I'm not going to hold my breath for that. So I thought it was just time to go ahead and cover this. I had planned on kind of doing a comparison between this ship and the Avenger Titan and maybe doing a video with the two side by side and kind of doing direct stuff. But I'm just going to go ahead and go through this ship and cover it. Maybe make a few reference towards the, the Titan a little bit, but let's get into this, okay? So the Origin 315P is kind of a cargo ship like the Avenger Titan. It has the same cargo space, 12 SCU. But it does not have the open type cargo bay that the Avenger has. It has a drop down cargo bay that's kind of secure underneath. Let's go ahead and get that open real fast so I can show you. And this is the type of cargo bay. Now this can fit the 12 SCU. So you get the, bo the two boxes on top of each other and it does suck up underneath into the ship. And that's where everything is stored. But the Avenger Titan with the open cargo bay does have the ability to carry the little PTV and smaller type ships in the back for transportation. However, it does not have what this ship has, which is the tractor beam attachment on the nose of the ship. Now, this is what I think is going to make this ship shine when the, you know, the release does come for the tractor beams, which again, I'm really hoping that is around the 320 release, but we will see. So it should allow you to have the ability to possibly pick up the boxes and have them kind of auto store in the cargo hold, which is kind of what I'm hoping. I'm hoping it has some sort of ability so that you don't have to exit the ship to necessarily grab a cargo box. We don't know how it's going to be completely implemented yet because CIG is known to change stuff all the time from how stuff is going to or how they intended it to work. but. That's just what I'm hoping for. It would be really convenient to be able to move those boxes and not get out of the ship. But let's go ahead and move on to the weapons. The weapons of the Origin 315P are a little bit different. You know, the 325A comes with that nose gun, which you do not have on this because it's replaced. But it does come with two size 3 cannons. Along with that, it comes with two size 2 I believe these are Tempest missiles. Now it's not the craziest of loadout and it's not really intended to be a combat ship, but it can, you know, with the two size threes, it can do some damage. It can it can hold its own for the size of the ship. Personally, I like to trade these basically cannons out for the repeaters. I, I feel like you get more damage because you land more hits. Maybe it's the speed of the bullets or the trajectory that it takes versus the cannon. It's just a personal opinion for me. I like to change them out for the repeaters. Now, let's talk about the styling a little bit. You know, this is an origin ship, so you are going to get that kind of premium luxury look, the sleekness, the pointed nose. You do get the same, just like on the 325 and the 300, you do get that wrap around type wings that wrap all the way around and have the little kind of like diffuser on the back that covers the engine engine is about the same model as as the rest of them and again it, it's that luxury type fill let's go ahead and jump over to you know the urkel games as always and let me show you guys kind of the standard loadout what this ship comes with from kind of factory settings and i will be right back with you Okay, guys, let's let's jump into this Urkel game so we can check out the, you know, DPS calculator and stuff like that and go over these components. So, again, the 315P does come with the 12 SE of cargo, which is really nice for a starter type ship. It is the cargo variant of the 300 type series. So, real fast, let's jump to the weapons. So, a laser cannon, size 3s. Now, I, I do like switching these out to the repeaters because one thing to note on this is these are not gimbaled. So these are not a gimbaled weapon. So 
if you wanted to throw like a gimbal on there, you throw the size three gimbal, but now you're limited to a size two, right? So you can come in here and do size two repeaters with a gimbal. To me, I feel like it does more damage if you throw the size three gimbal with the size two repeaters. It is a personal preference. You get more hits, the more hits you get, the more damage, and I think it's just better across the board. The 315 does not have the best turning radius, kind of like the 325. It, it, the 325 is a little better, but this ship is even a little bit worse than that one. It just does not feel, it, it feels like it's a chore to get it to turn. So, with that said, you have your size 2 missiles, your Tempest. You could change those to size 1 missile rack, and I believe run uh, 4 size 1 missiles, but... With, with that many missiles, I just stick to the size 2 and let them go. Shield, you're going to get your stealth size 1s. You're getting your stealth slipstream. You're getting your stealth coolers. And you're getting your industrial quantum drive, which is kind of nice. A little bit of an upgrade there. But again, this ship does come with the stealth components, which is going to be great when stealth you know comes more into play. Right now, I just, man, I, I, I just don't feel like... It's there. I don't feel like it does enough to justify running stealth any, anything really. But when they work on this, when they start getting this balanced out, this stealth is really going to come come into play. Now, there'll be a difference of, different of opinions. A lot of people, in, in people that I even play with, do run stealth stuff, especially like on the Eclipse and things like that. And they believe it, it helps a lot. I see the numbers. The numbers do look lower, but... I feel like I'm still picked up at the same distances away, and and I, I'm just going to run what, in my opinion, what I like to run, which is, in this case, with this particular ship, I run the stock setup. I might change the quantum drive out, but the shields, it, I just I don't see enough difference to justify flying all around trying to get these components, not in a ship of this size. So your DPS and stuff is, is with the cannon is, is, again, it's not bad. The repeaters drop the number, but I believe you get more hits, so you get a little more sustained damage. But the rest of this, a lot of this stuff is so not usable right now in game. I feel like it's just so unbalanced that it's not really even worth talking about. And and normally in these, looking at Urkel, I don't talk about this section over here because of that. But that's what you get with standard components. Again, maybe just swap out the quantum drive. I think you're going to be great in this ship. So let's jump back. Let's take a look at, you know, that interior and stuff, and I will be right back with you. Okay, so hopefully that helped a little bit when talking about the components. Again, these are starter ships, so there's not really a whole lot to go over and cover as far as, you know, components and stuff go. You know, running the standard components in this ship is fine. I think most of the time you're probably going to do, be doing small cargo runs, box missions, things of that nature. But if you're looking for a luxury ship, you know, this is kind of where I think the ship, like, as far as styling goes, kind of shines, especially over the more rugged look of that Titan. So let's jump into this kind of cockpit area. Let me show you guys around. So, again, you can already see you got the kind of the LED type lights on the floor. You've got your restroom here. You've got your bed so that you can bed log, which is a incredibly convenient when it's working correctly right this I, I don't know what's been going the bed logging has been like on and off for me just about every patch it, it sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't I've noticed that when I've been bed logging I do get that kind of extra loading it, it takes me forever to get back to my ship for other people it works the opposite they're able to load even faster when they just bed log it, it's kind of hit or miss for me but, you know, you got your sleek kitchen area, you know, your, your floor. It's very luxury style fill. You've got your little refrigerator for your drinks and stuff. Same closet area. And, of course, your lovely wine glasses. Now, right here is your, is your weapons rack for your pistols and your rifles and, and the same. The ships are very similar. 325A that I just covered not too, too long ago. Pretty much the exact same interior as as the ship right and again what i love more than anything about these ships is you get this lovely pano roof and it's just a pure glass roof and it's really cool when you're in space if you're you know you hop out of your seat and you're kind of looking at the station and stuff like that it's it's a it's a really nice beautiful touch to to the design of these ships 
Guys, that is really all I have for you for the 315P. Again, I think it's really going to shine when the tractor beam attachments come out and I will do a revamp of this video if and when that does happen. But guys, thanks for always sticking around. If you've made it this far, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. If you like the content, please don't forget to hit the subscribe like button helps the channel out, helps other people get to see this video and I will catch you on the next one.